Mackie Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. And we would like to welcome you here to our Rosa Mutual Halftime Show here for tonight. So Rosa Mutual is a proud sponsor of tonight's Halftime Show. Rosa Mutual believes in the value of youth activities to help develop and also be our future community leaders. They are your hometown teammates for commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Give them a call at 712-792-4525. We're here to wrap up our girls' coverage for tonight after an exhausting game. Right now joining me is Mary Montrager. Mary, I tell you what, a heck of a comeback from your girls here for tonight. Uh, obviously that first half didn't go the way that you kind of wanted, so let's just recap quickly that first half. What was kind of going right for the Jaguars there? Um, they were making their shots, and even like players that we weren't really worried about were hitting their threes, and that kind of brought us down a little bit throughout the first and second quarter. I was going to say, what was that one girl that you were focused on who was going to make the biggest impact for the Jaguars? Number four. Like usual, we last time we played them, we had to make sure to guard her well because she we knew we could hit, she could hit her shots for sure. Yeah, absolutely, and she of course did that. And I think there was just times where you know, getting used to this team again, you're in their hometown. A lot of people here tonight. What were some of the things you were focused on in that first half? Because obviously the shots weren't kind of falling. So I saw you especially in that second quarter just hustling. So what was kind of the mindset going into that second quarter, knowing you were down? Um, defense, yeah, and still shooting the ball because you never know when you're going to make it. <laughs> but our defense, yeah, we got to hustle on everybody, and especially down low because they they had good passes to their girls on the block, and they just throw it up and make it. Absolutely, and uh, of course you go 40 to 25 after that first quarter. You come back in that third quarter, 10 to 2, and Southeast Valley looked like they were kind of struggling from the field. What was kind of going on in that third quarter? Um, we were more confident in our shots, and I think, I mean, maybe that made their girls kind of worry a bit, maybe right. stress them out, and maybe it got to their heads a little bit. It's, it's, it's part playing the game, but also part mindset a little bit, too. Yeah. And obviously, you put the team on your back in that fourth quarter, tied it up mm -hmm. multiple times. What was going through everyone's head? What do you know you had to continue to do in that fourth quarter? Um, drive the ball and make sure. Try to make your shots, I mean, obviously. And when you're fouled, make your free throws. And obviously, you made it. It goes to overtime, and I think obviously the biggest playmaker towards the end, Alicia Thayer, uh -huh. driving in those two free throws. Um, obviously, Southeast Valley had a little bit of a time, so what was the plan of attack with those last six seconds? Um, I th we had the lead, so we didn't want to foul. We just token defense and Making sure number four didn't make a three-pointer. I mean, it would have been an overtime then, but yeah. still. Yeah, exactly right. Well, uh, I tell you what, great win here tonight. Of course, you get South Central Calhoun for the final regular season game. What's sort of the thought process going against them? Of course, a top team in the conference. So what are you looking for in that game? Um, well, hustling for sure and just playing our hardest. It's going to be one of our last games, so we want to give it our all. Exactly right. And of course, Manson Northwest Webster coming into the playoffs. So, Mary Bontrager, 31 point game here tonight. Congratulations on the win. And of course, we'll hopefully see you at South Central Calhoun for that one. Yep, thank you. Absolutely. Mary Bontrager joining us here on the, uh, well, what is Mackie Motors post game show for the girls? We now switch our attention over to head coach Jason Phillips here of the ESAC Raiders. Uh, coach, I think we can both finally breathe after that one's over. What a heck of a barn burner that one was. Let's just talk about that first half. I know not the way you wanted to come out, but what were you seeing from Southeast Valley from the last time to this time? You know, the first half they were hot. You know, everything they threw up went in. Um, we weren't putting enough pressure out on, out on them on the top side, so they were throwing the ball over the top um, to their big girls. And, you know, anytime you throw it over the top and you have easy, easy laps, you can make them. And, uh, you know, we got let, we let a few girls shoot a couple threes on us, and they made it, so they got some confidence. And so, you know, at halftime I said, we just got to cut it to seven or eight. You know, in that third quarter, and we just got to play harder. We got to play tougher. We got to just get scrappier and, and just play. And uh, you know, that was one of the biggest things that I think we did. You know, we we got back into what we were supposed to do, and we played good. You know, two three defense, and we got out on the shooters, and we boxed out. And you know, we we did a good job of boxing out, and it was a team effort. Absolutely right. And Mary said that obviously Kenneth Scott was kind of the their main shooter for tonight. But what were some things you had to kind of fix on defense in that second half? Well, anytime you, you give up a few laps the first half, you got to be able to, you know, stop that because you don't want to give up easy, easy, easy shots. And you know, do, by doing that, we 
you know, we, we covered up on the inside. We started boxing out harder, and then we got more movement on the top side to get a little bit more pressure so they couldn't throw it over the top. And it was just about hustle. You know, when, when you talk about wanting it, they wanted it more in the second half. And I think that's what it was. And Mary Bontrager, I think, kind of led the charge there. She hustled down the court, was kind of making plays and going as much as she could. So Mary Bontrager, I think, was just a big factor for tonight. But also Jen Ashinger had a lot of really great steals. So what was sort of the, the transition? What was the point where you saw, okay, we can get the momentum now and start to really go here? Well, you know, when, when like you said, we went on a 10-2 run, you know, and, and that helps. That gives you confidence. And when you have a little bit of confidence, you can start pushing a little bit higher up the floor. And when you can do that, you're going to get a few steals. And that's what we did. And, you know, it was, a, like I said, it was a team effort. And everybody contributed, you know, all seven or eight players that played. And, and they should be proud. Final thing for you tonight, South Central Calhoun coming up to finish up the regular season. What's your thoughts on that one here tonight? You know, we, we didn't play very good at our place at all. And, you know, when, when we look at it, we had just gotten back from, uh, you know, dance. Yeah. You know, and we were short a few people uh, in practice. So, you know, they're a good team. We just want to play well and be in the game and see what happens at the end. Absolutely. Well, Coach, congratulations on this exhausting game. Congratulations on the win. And, of course, I'll be up to do that postseason game against Manson Northwest Webster uh, coming up next week. Yep, thank you. I appreciate it.